I, 26 male, had the shocking experience of discovering last weekend that my fiance, 24 female, has been sleeping with a guy from her postgraduate course. I only found out because she was logged into Messenger on her laptop and I stumbled upon the message history with him. When I checked, she had sent him an explicit message about 25 minutes earlier, while I was still in the house, sitting across from her as she watched TV like nothing was wrong. To say I feel disgusted would be an understatement. I decided to read through their history, and what I found was gut-wrenching. She was explicit and graphic with him, and according to their timestamps, had been sexting him while she was right in front of me or even when we were at church. It's not like we were having issues or drifting apart. In fact, we were recently making serious plans for our wedding. I thought we were solid, and all this time, she's had a side dick. One of the things that baffles me the most is how much she talks about cheating and how much she claims it's her one deal breaker. She's always saying how it's evil and she'd never tolerate it. I guess it was all projection. It's like she was building up this image of loyalty and integrity just to mask her own actions. The hypocrisy is overwhelming. I haven't confronted her yet and I'm not even sure if I want to. My mind's racing with all the ways I should handle this. My current plan is to contact the affair partner's significant other, if he has one, then reach out to my fiance's parents and family and then let my friends know. I know she'll try to play the victim and make me out to be the bad guy, so I feel like I need to get ahead of that narrative. She's always been pretty skilled at turning things around and finding a way to make herself look like the hurt party. I feel like the life I knew has been ripped out from under me. This has been the worst experience of my life. I feel humiliated, betrayed, and emasculated all at once. I keep going back and forth on how to confront her. Part of me wants to just explode and tell her everything I know, but another part of me wants to stay calm and be methodical, letting everyone who matters know what really happened so there's no way she can twist the story. I'm not even sure how I'm holding it together right now. I feel so depressed, like I'm in some kind of fog where nothing feels real anymore. I'm dying inside, but she's still physically here, walking around like nothing's happened. Today, while my now ex was at work, my two closest friends came over and we packed up her stuff. I had already made up my mind that I wasn't going to listen to any of her excuses or let her gaslight me into letting this go. Once her things were packed, I went down my list. First, I called her parents and her brother to let them know what happened. Their reactions were mixed. Her mom was completely shocked and kept saying, this doesn't sound like her. Her dad, though, had a more stoic response, just nodding along as I explained, but he didn't say very much. Her brother went silent on the phone, then finally muttered, I never thought she'd do something like this. I could tell he was genuinely disappointed and maybe even a bit ashamed. Then I let her best friend know, and her reaction was probably the most intense. She was furious at my ex, saying that she knew something was up because my ex was being sneaky. After that, I messaged the affair partner's girlfriend to let her know. It still left unread. Within minutes of telling her family and friends, my ex started blowing up my phone. She kept calling nonstop, leaving voicemails and texting. I didn't pick up a single one. Eventually, my ex came home and saw her things packed by the door. I guess her parents must have called her too because they showed up a few minutes later. She was a mess crying, yelling, asking me why I would ruin her life like this. I just stood there. I felt so numb, I barely registered anything. Her father's reaction kind of took me by surprise, though. He was standing at the door, then looked at me with a mix of disappointment and shook his head, then said, This was low, son. It stung, and maybe it was his way of trying to keep his emotions under wraps, but it left me feeling like I'd done something wrong even though I knew I hadn't. Now, she's gone. Her things are out of my place, and her calls and texts have slowed down. But I'm here, in the quiet, alone. I know it's what I needed to do, but it doesn't make it any easier. Right now, I just feel empty. Story 2 My, 25 male, soon to be not ex-girlfriend, 26, is going on a trip with a former hookup buddy. 
My ex and I broke up several months ago. After dating for almost two years and discussing marriage due to external pressures that caused our relationship to crash and burn. We reconnected in the middle of July and have both expressed heavy interest in getting back together. The problem is that during our time apart, she took an extended trip, four to five weeks, to see friends across the country one of which she began to regularly have sex with. When she returned home after her trip, the two of them made plans to go hiking out west over Labor Day weekend, just the two of them. This happened before we started talking again. As we started talking, she slowly, across two weeks, about them having a sexual relationship, and then about them having plans to go camping together. She says that they're just friends and they had previously discussed just being friends. But then she admitted that she would have sex with him again on the trip if we had not started talking again. All of this came out so slowly that it all felt like a bundle of lies to fool me into thinking that she wasn't going out west just to have sex with him some more. I'm not sure how I feel about the situation. And everything I bring up about my discomfort, she says that I need to stop being jealous and just trust her. Thoughts about how I should approach the situation? Thanks. Update. I, 25, found out my girlfriend, 26, was a liar and a cheater. I previously posted because my ex-girlfriend and I were reconciling after being split up for several months. During this time, she had sex with an old flame and had made plans to go on a long weekend with him. We talked it over and I basically accepted that the trip was going to happen, but that she loved me and wanted to be with me. So the trip came and went fine, and the following month was good between us. She then went on a trip last weekend with a group of friends for one of their birthdays in a different state. And hey, old lover was going to be there as well. I had no worries about her during the weekend, until I woke up on Monday morning to a text from an unknown number with screenshots of her sexting someone during early August, right before her trip with her ex-lover. Then a few hours later, I get a call from her crying. She confessed that she'd gotten drunk the night before and that she and her ex-lover had touched each other less than friendly on the dance floor. As you might imagine, this was a huge shock to me. Since she was coming back into town that night, she came over to talk it all over. During this time, she said it was just basic hands on the hips and some body grinding that she felt was inappropriate. Obviously, I was skeptical about that and questioned why she was so upset if it was just heavier dancing, which she couldn't answer. Then I brought up the text message I received, which opened the floodgates. Basically, she was lying about not sexting her lover after we started remediating our relationship, that she had tried to get in a relationship with him after telling me she hadn't, that she lied about her intentions for the trip, and so on. So we continued talking through this week, trying to work out our problems, but more issues and lies have arisen. The highlights are, the ex-lover was the person who texted me the sexting screenshots. She told all of her friends what happened, and they all think I fabricated the text message from the guy. More things to come out about her cheating on me, such as she was too drunk to actually remember what happened, that she actually slept in the same bed as him that night after adamantly saying that she didn't, she claims that they didn't kiss or have sex this past weekend or in Colorado. Oh, and to top it off, none of her friends that were on the trip had anything to say to her about sleeping with the guy, even though they all knew we were together. Any thoughts from y'all would be great. I think I know what I need to do, but I just want to hear from you guys. You mentioned that you've been uncovering more and more issues over time, and that pattern of deception is concerning. Repeated lies and attempts to cover up her actions reflect her character and commitment, and it's a strong indication that promises of change might not amount to real, lasting change. Another thing to consider is how this relationship is impacting your well-being. Trying to rebuild trust after infidelity is already a massive challenge, and with each new revelation, you're being pulled back into that pain. This kind of cycle can be incredibly draining, mentally, emotionally, and even physically. One of the biggest red flags here is her tendency to shift the blame and make excuses, like saying she was too drunk to remember or downplaying it as just dancing. True accountability would mean that she takes full responsibility without trying to soften the truth or make you feel like you're overreacting. Her inability to be straightforward with you suggests she might not fully understand or respect the depth of hurt she's caused, which is essential for any real healing. 
Then there's the issue of her turning to her friends and possibly trying to sway them into believing that you're the one fabricating evidence. That's not only manipulative, but could isolate you from a support system that you need right now. When someone tries to make you feel alone or unsupported, that's usually a sign they're trying to control the narrative rather than own up to their actions. This is hard, no question, and sometimes the hardest choice is the one that brings the most peace in the long run. You deserve someone who values and respects you as much as you value and respect them. Take some time for yourself. Reflect on what you want and need. And don't be afraid to take action for your own happiness and peace of mind. Wishing you strength and clarity in whatever decision you make.